Alright everybody, welcome back to Kremiel's Adventure in Baldur's Gate 3. You're watching this video right after I recorded the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creation video, which is about 5 minutes long. By the time this video is out, I am pretty sure we are already making content on Dragon's Dogma 2, but if not, well, expect videos on that soon. I have pre-ordered the game. We will be covering both Baldur's Gate 3 and Dragon's Dogma 2 because, well, I, I pretty much kind of love both of, both of these games. I have played a little bit of Dragon's Dogma 1. But, uh, yeah, the only thing that was keeping me away from Dragon's Dogma 1 was, I don't know, some weird performance issues. And the outdated the visuals, yes, the outdated visuals. Uh, last time on Cremiel's Adventure, we had the courtyard incident, we had a party, we talked to Halsin, he told us to go to Moonrise Tower, yes. Now, I don't exactly know how to take Halsin with me, he may not join me, he may just sit in camp, I don't know if he joins the actual party, but we have currently split the party in two. And as, as stated in the last video, we are taking Lazel with Will, Karlak, and Astarion. I'm actually thinking I should maybe keep Astarion with the, the main group. Nah, it's fine. We are taking these four and going towards the Githyanki crash. In the meanwhile, the main group with the main character will be going with the uh, Shadow Hearth, Gale, and uh, obviously Kremiel towards the Underdark. Yes. Looking for the Night Song and the Temple of Saluna, which is supposedly there. Uh, we have already seen a glimpse of the front of the temple. When we jumped, took the leap of faith, we're about to take it again. And I think it's about time we get this story going. Uh, whoops. Accidental and accidentally entered a uh, turn base mode. <laughs> I was trying to leave camp. There we go. Alright. So. We are also apparently overstimulated. Or pleasure. Gotta remember, we are wearing the new suit of armor. At the same time, we have very low armor class because of it. So we need to rebuff Kremiel. We need to uh, not Aura Forge, but the Blessing of the Forge. Okay. We need the Blessing of the Forge, Kremiel, make sure she gets at least the 16. At the same time, I kinda need to shield the Fate her. Do we get any extras? No. Yeah, I do have to shield the Faith Kremiel. So, our main tank is Kremiel. She's gonna have 18 AC. We have uh, Wraith Form. And uh, we got... Let's see. We'll see. I mean, we, we do have Distracting Visage, but our Charisma modifier is abysmal, currently. We do have Leviathor's Love. And something, something related to Pain as well. I'm not exactly, which, not exactly sure which one of these, but some of these are reducing the damage we take, okay? The, the Leviathor thingies. Also, we got a lot of stuff from the Shadows Embrace armor. We're using light armor currently, apparently. I know this is not exactly uh, Blackguard accurate, seeing how I am using light armor instead of uh, heavy, but at the same time, we do not have Charisma or Wisdom, like how a Blackguard is supposed to have. Uh, am I limited in AC? Um, technically, no. 
if I ever manage to get my charisma up somehow, <laughs> it's gonna be helpful. But at the same time, currently I cannot. Why is Koga here? Oh, we are in the grove. I might as well talk to Koga, see what she gotta say about the... Uh, all the weirdo stuff she be doing in the in the grove. Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. Okay. Uh, that's it. Nice scimitar, though. Anyway, time to go. Now we are going towards Whispering Depths. I all remember I did make Kremiel on undead, right? Now at the same time I have made Galen on that too. So that I don't need to perma have to revive him. And at the same time, if I ever wander with him randomly and end up dying to a trap or something. Seeing as now he's undead because of import undeath. Okay. Because of this, he will revive with 1 HP if outside of combat. So if my guy randomly dies to a trap, for example, or anything else that is not combat related, he will revive. So I don't have to constantly worry about him dying. Because I am certain that when he dies, our game just ends. It's time to go. This is currently the only way I can get to the Underdark, as of my knowledge. Because... Because we don't have uh, the, the trickster for the cleric. Um. Okay, we failed. Uh, that was bad. That was not supposed to happen. Uh, will I just permadie here? Uh, Kremiel? What is going on? Okay, never mind. I have to reload. I don't know what happened here. So, normally... <laughs> normally... I should have traveled through the chasm and ended up dead in Underdark and then revived there once on the floor. But for some reason it didn't happen. I'll try the dimension travel with Gale, I guess. Alright. Gotta leave camp again. Gotta teleport back there. I don't know what happened there, but... Sure. Let's try that again. So, again... Because we have the... Uh, what's it called? The Forge Cleric thing, class. We don't have the... Disguise ability on Shadow Heart. There's that matriarch I was trying to avoid and ended up having to kill. Is there a way to, I don't know, go all the way down without having to over rely on Gale's dimension travel? It's fine. Alright. Dimensional leap all the way down. Kremiel's gonna follow, so will Shadow Heart. Shadow Heart's gonna die. Both Gale and Kremiel will revive. Let's go. Okay, so this works, but for whatever reason, jumping doesn't. Unsure why. Anyway. Come on. Come on. We are supposed to be reviving. Why are we not? There we go. Uh, hello? You good? Come on. I know you can do it. There we go. There we go. Why is Gil not reviving, though? Alright, come on. Gil's supposed to revive as well. Not sure why he's not. I am very confused currently. I also cannot move, by the way. For 
some reason I can't move, I can't use actions. I am confused. We'll see now. What is going on, brother? Okay, I am taking perma damage from Gale. Does this count as combat? Also, why is Gale not reviving? Keep in mind, I made Gale an undead to make sure he revives. Is he not undead? I am 100% sure I made him undead at some point. Okay, I need to redo this because for some reason he's not undead? Question mark? We gotta redo again. Alright. That was not as planned. So the point was, we make Gale undead, so he revives on 1 HP and doesn't do the, ne the stupid necrotic aura. Ay ay ay. Alright. Shadow Heart. You know what? It's fine, I'll just leave camp. It's faster that way. We gotta import on death onto Gale again. For some reason, he does not have it anymore. Okay, please tell me you are undead now. Okay, he is undead now. I'm not tripping. Okay, if this randomly disappears again. All right. Now, we will Blasting of the Forge onto Kremiel again. And I need to Shield of Fate, but at the same time not really, because if I Shield of Fate now and she dies, she's gonna lose concentration, so let's wait. Alright. I've got a long road ahead. Uh, teleport back to Whispering Depths. Go back to Hole. Dimension Travel. Because for some reason, that's the only way I can get there. I could just Shadow Melt, but I'm I'm thinking of not wasting the spell slot. <laughs> so I, I can do it without Gale, but I don't really want to do it without Gale. I'm going to just Dimension Travel down there. Now, we die, we should revive. Okay. Death can't have me. All right. And now we move. Good. Good. Very good. All right. And now I need to revive um this one. I do have a couple scrolls. We revive Shadow Heart. There we go. There we go. And uh I'm very low at HP. I'm gonna have to Warden of Vitality, probably. Otherwise, I would have to probably waste all my spell slots. So, who? Oh, no. Oh, my God. They got so much HP and I'm so low. This is extremely bad right now. Okay, that is not something I expected right off the bat. Motherfucker, you! <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I don't even have mage armor on. Because I forgot to put it. Okay, how do I do this? Um. They're gonna follow. And I'm gonna get destroyed. These are level 4. Uh All right. 55 low ground torment abyss. What is torment abyss? Why can't I see what torment abyss means? Hello? It's not showing me torment abyss. What the flip does torment abyss mean? Oh, we 
we take damage anyway when they miss. It's 55 only because why exactly? <sighs> Jesus Christ, this thing's high on wisdom. <laughs> also high on strength and con. Uh, um, creature is very strong, it has advantage on ability checks, saving throws is in athletics, brutal critical. Mmm, that was very bad. I, I get the feeling that it's extremely fucking bad to be grouped into these, so let's try to move. Is there no way I can get a better angle with Gale? I need a better angle, like a, well, a much better angle. Let's see, I'm gonna have to try to kind of spread a little. Melf? Nah. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Magic arrow it is. It's the only one that actually works. Okay. You can fly until the end of turn. No, I can't because I just teleported. Anyway, I am probably dead. Oh, sh oh shit, okay. Um, the armor distracts those next to you. If I do this... Nah. Let's shade shield. Sheesh, okay. And then we got Reckless Roar to deal with. And this dude... I, I don't think I can handle this right now. I actually don't think I can handle this right now because of my low HP. But I will try. I'm gonna try to heal with Lay on Hands. Wait. What? Mend the flesh of an undead. I, I can heal myself, because I am undead. Something I never thought I would be doing with that one, but it is what it is. Hmm. I'm gonna tank so hard. Is this guy immune to necrotic or something? Shouldn't be. Okay, it's got 15 AC. This, this is gonna hit me so hard. What does overstimulation do? Like pain, your body can only tolerate so much pleasure. When you experience more pleasure stacks than you can tolerate, you collapse. Ooh, not good. I got three turns of pleasure, one subversive stimulation, plus two pleasure. Lay on hands. Um... Okay, a little bit confused. I do need to action to. This is basically action surge. So let's do that. I feel like I need the mark of the fallen right off the bat. Try to fear the guy. Kinda need to save Shadowheart too. Oh, so cringe. I'm gonna throw a healing potion, a big one, hopefully... Can I also heal Kremiel with this? Or... Nice! Nice! Kremiel being full HP is very strong right now. Concussive, backbreaker... Okay, they can't take reaction, they lose the uh, dexterity bonus to armor class. I could maybe make it fall prone, but it's... Uh, I don't know how likely that is. Can you fall prone? Let's see, this one has advantage on attack roll. But we also have advantage on attack roll. Guy is alert, can't be surprised. Um... Assuming it's very strong because of this. Can I put it prone? There's nothing that says I can't put it prone, but I am very much risking not doing a lot of damage. If I daze it, what exactly does daze do? 
Can't take reaction, loses dexterity to bonus armor. Okay. Sure, I'll just try to concussive smash and hope for the best. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro. I just missed. That is so cringe. Uh, I have to move Kremiel, by the way. Because if I don't add other one charges and hits both of them again, I need to make sure I spread the damage as much as possible. Also, I need a spiritual weapon. Like now. And make sure I spread the damage a little bit. There we go. Make sure I have to... Uh, I, I make them choose their target, you know? Not just fucking hit everything at the same time. Because that's the most BS thing. Okay, I'm hoping these do not heal. If they heal, that's so bad. That is so bad. If they do heal, I, I feel like I need the Mage Hand. Can I Mage Hand? Do I have Mage Hand? I do. I actually feel like I have to Mage Hand. <sighs> I'm gonna waste so much time preparing this if I do. Okay, I'm not... What I was gonna do is Mage Hand... Drop my potions on the ground, use Mage Hand to drop potions at Shadow Heart, but it's gonna require a lot of fucking setup. I'm not sure if dropping counts as action or bonus action. But I do feel like I kinda have to Mage Hand here. Because I'm gonna need a lot of heals to deal with this. So we Mage Hand. Let's see if I can drop. Oh, where my potion at? Let's see, I will drop item. Where is my potion? Okay, it's right there. So, can I drop another one? Am I blind? I'm not seeing my potion, so there we go. Let me, let me make sure I drop them closer to the... Yo, drop the damn thing, bro. There we go. Alright. And maybe I shouldn't keep Gale here, just in case I get randomly fucking charged at. And he just jumps off the cliff, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna hit Shadow Heart? Kremiel is down for whatever reason. What happened to Kremiel? Did I get put prone by pleasure? <laughs> we are wet. And we have Bliss Overload. Minus Wisdom. Yikes. Okay, this is possibly really bad. I have to heat metal. Is this weapon metal though? We're about to find out. No, it's not. Damn it, man. Okay. How do I do this? How do I do this? Can I double spiritual weapon? Does that work? Or do I try to blind it? Then turn blindness. Good work. Good work. Let's try. Okay, please tell me you don't randomly fucking hit me through blindness. Disadvantage on attack roll. It doesn't say it can't attack, so there's still a chance I may get hit. At the same time, I can disengage, which is what I'm trying to do right now. I'm going the wrong way, but it's fine. Actually, it's really not. Let me just go one more level. Yeah, we're sitting here. We are sitting here. Okay, can you please wake up? Apparently not. Alright. You know, this is going much better than I expected. I'm not gonna lie. Let's make sure I... Actually give Kremiel some time to... Get up. Somehow. This guy is still in reckless war for two turns. So is this guy. I don't exactly know how to wake Kremiel up from that thing, so I'm just gonna wait a turn. 
Uh, swap position with target. I uh, do not like that one one bit, actually. Uh, I do believe magic missile is not a cantrip, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. I need to check. What is a cantrip? So my cantrips are Firebolt, Mage Hand, and Ray of Frost. Alright, I don't have to worry. Thank God, bro. Um. Uh, what, what, what? Yo, my guy leaping all the fucking way there. <laughs> okay. Omega confusion just struck. Is there no way? I'm just gonna... Can I push Kremiel awake? I am unsure. I have disadvantage, apparently. Can I still throw this, though? Path interrupted. Bro, that's cringe. This damn Minotaur. Oh my god. Um, Mage Hand should technically be invisible to them, though, no? Psychic immunity. It doesn't say. It doesn't say that it's invisible. Okay, I'm hoping it just tanks a hit at this point. Okay, Shadow Heart. Um. You're in trouble. I think I tried a spiritual weapon again. Will that break my other one, though? I don't know if I can have multiple spiritual weapons. That is the problem. I will guess I'm about to find out. Okay, never fucking mind. I cannot. But at least if I move now, I don't think I trigger... Opportunity? Okay, thank god. Thank god for that. I can just move here. Uh, could be bad, though. Could be really bad. Can I wake you up, please? Can't be helped. Man, I need something that makes me immune to this... <laughs> to this pleasure thing. Something that makes me, like, immune to crowd control effects, if you know what I mean. Okay, we are gonna piercing shot this one. I don't really have that much of a choice right now. Thank you for waking up, by the way. Okay. Why do you not have enough movement to just hit him, bro? <laughs> what do you mean? He's right there. Is it because the fucking mage hand is in the way? No, he's like... Okay, I, I would just jump. Okay. And... Do I backbreaker or do I normal hit? I think I normal hit. Um, I'm upset. I'll try to profane smite this. Please. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Okay, that makes things much easier. I may not have to reload save again. Thank fucking god, bro. Kremiel just, just pull the major W for the team. That is so helpful, you have no idea. Okay, maybe you, you have some idea, but... At the same time, this motherfucker about to feel the pain. This motherfucker about to feel the pain. Can I hit you without hitting my spiritual weapon? I will try. I think this hits only him. Okay. That was... Weird. What? Did it not say cantrip? Hold up. Oh, it's also on spells. I thought it's only on cantrips. I'm so bad. Okay, it's fine. At least we forced the leap. Oh my god. Okay, Shadow Heart getting clapped. Just a little bit. She just got her cheeks slammed. 
At least she ain't dead, though. So there is that. Unfortunately, I, I, I can't seem to go all the way there with this fucking weapon. Uh, luckily... Can I please grab a potion, though? I... I can't see, bro! What do you mean, can't use this? Hello? Throw the damn thing. Okay, never mind. Why can't I throw... Bro. There we go. Let me throw a potion. Hey, it does work! Let's go! It did require a little bit of setup, but for some fucking reason I can't grab the potion that is of greater healing. I'm assuming it doesn't work? Wait, how many potions did I throw? Oh, did I threw everything! What? Confusion. If I pick this up... Mm -hmm. If I pick this up, this may be bad. Okay, let's see. Do I got any CC on here that will... I do have Blinding Smite and I feel like I gotta use it. Let's see. Is this short rest? Always prepare bonus. I can short rest for this. I can just uh, catnap her. Yeah, I can just can't, uh, catnap Shadowheart. And then I can use Warden of Vitality after the catnap. If I need it. I'll just blind this motherfucker. Let's go. 15 damage too. 15 plus 7 actually. Which is way more. Okay, can I still heal? Motherfucker. Bro. Okay. Okay. This guy, bro. Nice. He did. Let's go, Carmiel. Pulling the W for the team. Shadowheart kind of took the L, but it's fine. It is a okay in my book. Uh, Gale does not need the potions. Mage Hand was useful, but not as useful as I would have liked. Okay. I do need to catnap uh, Shadowheart. Let's see. Grants resistance to slashing, but vulnerability to bludgeoning. Isn't most damage bludgeoning, though, in the game? I'm pretty sure. It's either slashing or bludgeoning. Because swords and maces. Or clubs. No? Pretty sure. Alright. I actually ended up winning this. I did not expect. I'm not gonna lie. Swarming Toadstool. What now? <laughs> Draw poison. Okay, I do need to start doing a little alchemy. So, let's see if I can make some potions. I can uh, look at the balsam. Dagger rot. Ashes of dragon egg mushroom. Okay, vitriols. Not exactly sure what these are used for. Do I extract all ingredients? Sure. Okay, we got some coating. Sublimate? Sublimate of Autumn Crocus. What is this? Belladonna? Toxic properties? Um, perception enhancing characteristic. Characteristic, rather. My English just went weird. Okay, we got Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Bloodlust, Peerless Focus, Resistance Fire, Potion, we got Antidote, Potion of Healing, Greater Healing, I do need the Greater Healies. How many though? One? Bro, I don't have resources. I need more resources. Like, bad. I do need to make at least one of these though. So let's just make one Greater Potion of Healing. 
Let's have at least an extra. Okay. I do need to kidnap uh, Shadow Heart. But at the same time, before I kidnap Shadow Heart, I do need to make sure that I use all that I have. So we use aid. We. Uh, let's see. This is my. Aid is level 3? No, aid is level 2. I But I did use my, my blinding smite, which is really strong, by the way. I like this one. Let's do it like so. Let's actually make it like this. So I got Aura Forge there. I got the attack move there. Um, let's do it like this. So I got the attacks up there and the heals down here. I will put Blinding Smite up front because it's very cool. Alright. So. We cure wounds. Just a full heal Shadow Heart. Make sure she full heals, okay? Because I only got one catnap on her. We need to make sure she full heals. We also got a catnap Gale, kinda. So I don't have to heal him again. Let me check how many things did I use on Kremiel. Okay, we have to. We kind of have to catnap Kremiel as well. But at the same time, not really. You know what? Let's not waste Cadnap on Kremiel. Let's only do this. And click this so I can Cadnap two targets. Alright. Now we do gotta remember to do this. After we finish all the actions with this group, before I do anything like short rest or long rest, I need to make sure I do all the actions with the other group, okay? So I don't waste my resources randomly. Gotta make sure I remember that. Y'all gotta remember, my memory is hella bad. Okay, so what I do know of this place is that... The temple is right below the stronghold. And that, that is in fact the temple of Saluna. So I'm gonna go there. I'm actually kind of glad that we took care of the Minotaurs up there, because um, the last time I played the game and I ended up down here, I got destroyed, because my my people were grouped down here. Oh. Oh, hello. There's another one. Ooh, what is this? Okay. What was that? Man, I actually wish this game was kind of dark all the time, instead of having a, a lot of light upstairs, you know what I mean? I feel like... I feel like the game looks better when it's dark, no? Is it just me? <sighs> Fill your mind with the words of your oath. Drown out the voice. <sighs> that, that doesn't make any sense because I broke my oath. <laughs> I should have an oathbreaker one. Let's still our mind to this unusual voice. Careful. If we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. Definitely. Coming. You're coming. I'm coming! <laughs> I came! I'm sorry. Okay. Is this poisonous? I do not remember. Will I lose HP? Do I have... Let's see, can Gale push this away? I'll try. I don't know if I can clear dust clouds or something like this, but let's see, I'll try. Whoops. <laughs> okay, that was accidental. <laughs> Is that blood? No, never mind. Uh, the fuck did Gale just do? Oh. <laughs> Bro, I hate magic surge. It's way too unpredictable. 
Oh, oh, that's so bad. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Um, we have a problem. I don't think I can enter the temple from this side. So because I came from this side, I can't stop these uh, statues from blasting everything. Did the Minotaur randomly get inside through the gate? Is he dead? Okay, uh, that was something weird that just happened. Okay. I need to kind of just sneak around here. We got a Staff of Moon Maiden there. Let me grab the Salunite Journal. And, oh, the Minotaur's still alive. Never mind, he died. He died. Okay. Stained by something wet. What? Yeah, probably blood. Um, anyway. I think I kind of have to try to go through the back. There's an oil barrel. Yeah, let's not worry about that. Let's... Can I examine the staff? I can. Okay, we don't care for it. At least I don't think we care for it. Petrified droves. Droves? Why? Why they petrified? Alright, now bear in mind, my abilities should technically work. Wait. Why does this not work? So. This should technically work in the entire Underdark. Because there's a bunch of darkness, so technically shadows. Is it not coded to work in Underdark? Do I have to? Uh, do, is there some... These are causing light. No. Ooh. Falara Louvre. This is the first time I see this. Hello? Ooh, Excalibur. Interesting. Hmm. We do be paladin, so let us consider what the appropriate ritual might be. Let's use guidance. We do have the extra because of being paladin. Our intelligence is low, but Shadowheart makes up for that with the uh, guidance. Oh my god, I need to reroll. Because I, I don't know what this sword is. It may be extremely good. Because I wouldn't know. I, this is the first time I see this. Y'all gotta remember, I have been in the Underdark before. But I this is literally the first time I see this sword. This blade was I have alive. never come through the Underdark. Through the, the chasm in the blood. well. Where the spiders were. So I'm... I'm Literally on the other side, kind of. Um, shed a few drops of blood onto the stone. Sure. Will undead blood work, though? Undead half angel blood. Apparently, it does. It rises from the stone, hanging in the Damn, this looks good, bro. This looks so good. I, I wonder how the, how the base game looks here. Hold up. Yeah, nah, let's keep the reshade on. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god, yeah. I'll keep the reshade on. Constitution saving throws. Medium armor. Um... Yeah, I'll keep the dex one. It's fine. You do got plus five, so it's fine. Okay, Falara Louvre. Five to fourteen. Slashing. Falara Louvre melody. What is this? A class action. The sword hums in anticipation, ready to sing or shriek. What? 
All allies within 6 meters of range have 1d4 bonus to attack roll and charisma, wisdom and intelligence saving throws. 5 turns and it stops singing when unequipped. Or shriek. All enemies within 6 meters of range have 1d4 penalty to charisma, wisdom and intelligence saving throws and affected creatures receive an extra 1 to 4 thunder damage. Eh? Uh, am, I, am I the only one that thinks this is garbage? For a sword that is basically a reference to Excalibur in this game? This is actual trash, bro. Also, this is a long sword. It's only 5 to 14. Jesus. Yeah, this is actual garbage. <laughs> Alright. Swarming Toadstool. Viridian Crystal. Hmm. Alright, I think... I'm upset that this doesn't work here. It might be because of the light from these. Oh, I can turn that off. Nice. Okay, can I use it now, please? I am in the shadows. Motherfucker, it's dark as hell here. What do you mean I can't use it? Is it too much light? Somehow? <laughs> it makes no sense. Alright. The only way I can get there is Gil. Again, I have to over-rely on fucking Grandpa. Ah, <sighs> all right, Grandpa. Oh, problem. I can't rely on Grandpa. So I have to find another way. Let's see, can I jump there? The reason I can't rely on Grandpa is because I cannot uh, teleport party. Reason is simple. If I teleport party, I'm going to teleport the entire party, meaning the guys upstairs will also come in the Underdark. So, not good. Very bad, in fact, because I want to keep those... Heading towards the Githyanki crash. Very bad, in fact. Not something I want to do. Okay. What I need to do is uh, probably teleport Gale inside. Stop these statues. I think that's the play. Because if I go here, I'm going to get fucking destroyed. There is or should be... A way to stop these statues from the inside, I just don't really remember. There is a crushed body here. There is nothing on it of value. I need more resources, I need more heals. I need to make sure I grab a lot of heals. I need to use a potion of healing. Uh, accidentally clicked a Starion, I think. Yup. No, you guys sit here. <laughs> He's the main character's time right now. Okay, it does not tell me if they see you or not here. So I'm gonna assume they do not see here. There's a burlap sack. Okay. Let's read this one. Wait, I can miss this step. Oh, but Shadowheart stays behind then. Uh. Okay. There's a wooden trunk with alchemist's fire. I'll take that. Get back. More effort than a pit of spikes. Credit where it's due. Okay, do I have uh I got kinetic jaunt. Uh this is only three meters of move speed. Okay, we don't care about that. Featherfall, Dark Vision, no. No. Do I not have a jump? I have a, a scroll of summon Quasit. This is permanent. So we technically would have a permanent summon? Question mark? It's 
It's turning invisible and can frighten enemies. For two turns. That's actually kind of nice. Okay, do I not have a Misty Step or something? For Shadow Heart. So I can just teleport inside more easily with the group. I don't remember if there's anything that tries to kill us inside. Oh. Yeah, there's the rocky crevice, which... Not a chance I'll fit in there. Mm, that's not what I remember. So what I remember from being here the first time, this is my second time being in this temple. Uh, you come through the hole somewhere in the goblin stronghold. You climb down through a ladder. I don't. I have not found the ladder this time. So, yeah, I'm just saying. Um, okay. I need to ungroup. I need Gale to teleport inside. I, I can finally use my shadow thingies on Kremiel. I want Gale to teleport right here. And can I touch this? Okay. So we bust the moonstone. Is there no other way? Can I not grab that? Can I mage hand the moonstone from... I don't think I can. Can I not yoink this somehow? Maybe if I had an, uh, a, tele a telekinetic ability. Which would let me yoink it, but I don't. Is there no way to grab this? It's got 1 HP, meaning it probably dies to the Void Bulb as well. Man, I'm a little bit upset about this, because I kind of want to... Kind of want to grab that somehow. Huh. I got Elixir of the Colossus, but this makes people big, not small. Yeah, I think that also gets destroyed by the Void Bulb. Man! Okay, I'm a little bit upset, I'm not gonna lie. It's fine, I'll just bust that. I don't think I got a choice. You know what? Before I do that, let's see if I actually do have a choice. Can I just push without doing damage somehow? Can I knock it off? more <laughs> is there a way to knock it off without doing damage I actually don't think there is even falling from there may destroy it anyway let's do this first because I keep forgetting about mage armor it's permanent but it always just goes off when I long rest it's kind of cringe Alright, let's just blast it, I guess. I didn't really want to do that, but it's fine. Okay, that's a guard that got smacked. I think it's time we group again. And can we open the gates? Can we open the gates? I need to lockpick. No, let's not lockpick. Let's wait on Gale. Y'all stop. Alright. Let's not waste lockpicks randomly. Uh, in search of the night song. Okay, let's not read that. Let's open the door. There's a ray of sickness there. There's a lever. 
we open this. So technically you could lure the Minotaurs here and kill them. This is how I saw my first Minotaur, by the way. I saw a dude just get destroyed through the gates by those lasers or blasts or whatever. And also I was terrified because the motherfucker just charged in the gate. I was like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Just random Minotaur charging at me. <laughs> okay, we opened the gates. Let's move. Which means we can finally enter the Temple of Saluna. Is this any good? 5 to 15. Garbage. So if it's got no effect, it's probably garbage anyway. Let's read the thing with the Night Song. Old Sharan Fortress, somewhere in the environs of Moonrise Towers. Okay, so we gotta go to Moonrise Towers. Like, it doesn't matter what we do, we still gotta go there. I feel like. There's supposedly a Sharan Temple somewhere here. I don't recall actually finding it. Last time I played through the game, that is. Through Act 1. Again, I have not finished Act 1. I've never actually found the Night Song, so... Most of the stuff I will be doing in Act 1 um, have been covered in uh, my first playthrough of the Act. But yeah, let's cancel this. Can't, I can't really act like I don't know what's happening right now, because I've been here before, so... I kind of know what I'm doing. In a way. Can I please just... Bro, hello? Okay, thank you. Um... Okay, Helmet of Smithing. I'll just give this to Shadow Heart. Let's get on with and I think we actually... Do we equip? Her charisma is low. I'm confused. Why is Shadow Heart high charisma? She is not Paladin, not Bard, not Sorcerer, not Warlock, but a full Cleric. Might be because... Let's see, most of my stuff is, is Wisdom. Why is charisma needed? Dialogue, maybe? Confusion. Confusion. Just a little bit of confusion. It's fine. All right. What now? Okay, we need to enter other room. Can I open these gates? Oh, the gates are open. Now, see, this is... Let me just... We close this. I will go upstairs because I need to find where these damn stairs are. Okay? Uh, not stairs. Ladder, rather. Where this damn ladder is. I don't recall if I found a teleporter here. A waypoint. That's a long way up. And my boots do not help. Imagine getting wet on the ladder, bro. Just falling prone. <laughs> uh, that would be so cool. Defiled Temple. Wait. Is this not in Goblin's Stronghold like I remembered? Okay, I may have been lying. This may not be in uh, the Goblin Stronghold. I may have lied. I may have lied. Do not follow. Hm. Alright, time to find out where exactly... Or Can I even? Wait. Confusion. What? I think you get here through a burrow hole or something. So it, technically it's still maybe possibly in Goblin... Stronghold. I just don't exactly remember which part of the stronghold. It's gotta be in those uh, 
crevices or burrow hole we found in that random there was one random room where the dwarf trader was if you remember in the in one of the last videos and uh, yeah we did not have the the required height or character size to enter we found that with Gale also Shadow Heart doesn't have the disguise ability so yeah because I didn't keep her a trickster cleric or whatever yeah this symbol we found in a, in a room if you recall also we had uh, let's see we had some moons some moons yes that is also symbol for the saluna temple and goddess okay here we go some logs i don't really care about that but we'll read most of the books throughout the game anyway another log book Again, the reason I'm reading these books, they may help with the story at some point in time, we never know. Okay. Alright, we're going outside. There are, there are a couple of draws here. Uh, I do know what's gonna happen here in a way, so... I'm not gonna spoil, but... Okay, no damage taken. Good. I'm not gonna spoil, but uh, we're we about to meet something here. Okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil this one. But I can't act like I don't know what's gonna happen, because I kinda do. I kinda do. Uh, these are also the same things that hit us at the grove. Behind... Oh my god, Gale took 10 damage from that? Cringe. Very cringe. Lost in thought. Oh well. What's next, I wonder? No time to rest. Okay, there's a skeleton there, some gas. Backpack. Now here's the thing. I do know what's gonna happen here. We, these rolls will attack us at some point. Okay. Surprised? Yep, okay, here we go. Here we go. Again, like I said, I'm not gonna spoil, but all I'm gonna say is that they will attack us. And soon. Something kinda interesting that's about to happen here, though. Why is the other fallen angel here? The one that's protecting us from the, the thing? Kinda wish she was a character right about now. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I love this game, bro. Yeah. Okay. That's a beholder. He's got a hundred and six. Jesus, that's buffed from what I remember. Okay. Keep in mind, I have never... This is the first time I play in Tactician, so I've never seen this guy with so much HP. <laughs> the last time I played on Balanced, he did not have this much. That's a lot of HP, and I think the mods also add to the difficulty. Okay, if I throw this, will it kill it? That's 480 gold. It's a grenade. A Grenata. Can... Can I make it a pet? Let's see. Can I, uh... Import on death? Uh, it's probably only on friendly. Yeah, it's allied creature with on death. Um... Mm, Who got the talk with animal one? Is this considered an animal? What is this considered? An aberration. Okay, it's not an animal. <laughs> no choice but to keep going. 
Can I make this friendly somehow? Can I take it as a pet? Imagine, bro. Is there a way to take this as a pet? Y'all do let me know if there is a way to actually take one of these as a pet. Because goddamn, that's also strong. And uh, he looks kind of cool. Okay? Or it looks kind of cool, rather. Uh, can I take this as a pet somehow? Can I make it friendly? Hmm. We'll see now. I don't think I got anything that helps me on this. Okay. Oh, I accidentally took the soul coins with me. Oh, well, luckily I can just send this to Carlac whenever. Because the game's built different. Okay, I can't take any actions with uh, Kremiel because she's surprised. So are we on Shadow Heart? Okay, I need to just hit him hard. The thing is, this dude right here is gonna wake up these rows and he's gonna be extra annoying. Anyway, I will fireball the fudge out of you though. If I can kill him before he wakes up the droves. Can I save the droves? Is that a thing? I don't know. I gotta keep that in mind. I do not know if I can save the droves. Can I push him off the cliff though? Again, I don't know. Mm. I'll try this and see what happens. Only 14. Ugh. Cringe. Alright, let's try to move behind Shadow Heart and maybe... Maybe try to... I don't know. Make sure Gale doesn't die. There's a drove behind Gale, though. If this guy gets... Oofa. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, he's... Whoa, 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 how many actions you got, bro? Yo! Yo, where, where are you going? Okay, now I gotta deal with this bullshit. Oh my... How many actions do you have, bro? Stop. Hold up. I gotta reload. This motherfucker just destroyed me. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, this is not what I remember. <laughs> he was menacing and balanced, but... A tactician kind of just doing a different, uh... Doing him a different kind of dirty right now. Okay, he still kills Gale and still... Okay, at least Shadowheart is not paralyzed. Bro, how, how many moves do you have? Stop. We got blindness. Uh, Kremiel cannot be blinded, by the way. I, I think. Uh, I think. We do have Shadow Sight. We cannot be blinded. Okay. Uh, that fucking... There's another drill down there. God. This is gonna be painful, bro. Okay, we have to wake up Gale. We have to wake up Gale. Even if he has the tank hits, he does he just needs to be woken. He needs to be awake. I need a spiritual weapon. I may need to level three this. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Bro, um... <laughs> I don't have space! Because I'm in the fucking blindness! That's so cringe. Okay. Uh, this guy can just do whatever the fuck he wants, so... It is actually upsetting. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. And I have no actions, but at least I teleported out of the way. 
Okay. Please don't get paralyzed. I need Creamy to not get paralyzed. <laughs> Creamy. Um. I don't know what that was, but I think it missed. Okay. I I think I just gotta use everything on this because this guy's got a lot of HP. So. Hold up. <sighs> All right. I need to fly. I need to fly right here. Okay. I think I need inviting dance. Same time though, this is action so I can't mark of the fallen. Okay, it's fine. They're all in range to be affected by Embrace of the Fallen. Also by Leviathor's Love. I think I just tried to profane smite, but is this guy resistant to Necrotic? Does not say, so I'm gonna assume no. I think I just need to do this. I actually think I need to do this. Shame I can't... I can't rate form as well. I'll just do inviting dance. Hopefully I don't get destroyed. Okay, they're all in embrace of the, the thingy. And I think I need Spirit Guardian here. I could just bomb them with Volcana's Grenade. Um, I think I do this. I'm out of the blind. I can't move anymore. But I can't Spirit Guardian. I think I do Radiant. No, I do Nick. Uh, are these resistant to anything of the sort? Hmm. Sunlight sensitivity. Um, does radiant count? Question mark. I'll try. Okay, that's actually a lot of damage. Shadow Horde just did a lot of damage, actually. 15, 18, 14. Let's see. That's 20... They're about 40 damage. 40-something. 40 That's actually very cool. What just happened. Uh, now, thankfully, because this dude is kind of stuck here, I'm hoping. Uh, he can't revive more of these people. I'm gonna do this now. Because Gale is hopefully fine for the next two turns, at least. I need to make sure I kill Izwaye. So I'm gonna... 3... 4 hit this guy. And 4 hit the Spectator. Or a 2 hit Spectator. The reason I did this is because the, the Spirit the Guardian Aura will probably kill them both. So then I can focus on the spectator, the beholder. Okay, he's fearful, he's running away. Uh, okay, uh, never mind. They all just move from the thing. Yikes. Oh no. He's afraid though. Uh, Shadowheart will kill him the second she moves through the area. I can't bonus action, but I can fly. I need Criminal to be on the Beholder. Also, this guy is within the aura? I think? Maybe not? I don't think Backbreaker is going to work on him. I'm going to save it for later. I kind of do feel like I need to Profane Smite, though. Maybe lay on hands on myself so I heal. 
we have not kidnapped Crimeal yet. I'll just hit him normally. Ooh, that's a decent damage. One more. Damn it, man. It's fine. Shame that I can't really move all that far. I can't get in range to put him. Actually, he is in Embrace of the Fallen Aura. It's fine. Okay. I just need to dash, literally. Okay, so he is friendly now. I'm assuming this is gonna hit the Beholder. Yes. I need to get Shadowheart a little bit away from the Beholder so that if Beholder moves through the aura, it takes damage again. We summon Spiritual Weapon. Get a Maul on this. I just... Maybe if I just tank the hits and don't kill them, maybe I can save the guys. Because this one is neutral now, I believe. It shouldn't be hitting me anymore. It took no damage from my spirit thing. So I am assuming it's friendly. So we just technically need to kill the Beholder and these rows will turn friendly? <sighs> it's something I've never done before because last time I was here I had to kill them. Because my party was not as strong. I am currently one level ahead of my previous playthrough. Or rather above my previous playthrough. Uh, I'm kind of over relying on this but if I do this will I hit Kremiel? I don't think I will. I'm hoping I won't. Okay. Uh, not good. My guy is sheep. Okay, I'm hoping... Good. So he's helping. Nice. Helpful. Helpful. Okay, he was pushed away from Krem from Kremiel and... Shadow Horde. That's not good. Actually, not good. Uh... I need Shadow Heart to just get in there and hit him hard. This is Concentration. No? Yes. I can't do Concentration, but I can't Blinding Smite. I just kind of have to do it. Guy needs to die fast. Oh my god, we missed. That's so bad. <sighs> I need to... Comp uh, no, I don't actually. If I do this, I'm going to break because it's Concentration. I don't want the Spirit Guardian to break. Because it's doing a lot of damage. Gale is useless here right now. Okay, I have an extra party member currently. I'm gonna try to save all these rows. Oof, Gale just got destroyed again. He's gonna revive, so it's fine. But it's kind of annoying. Oh, this dude, bro. Where are you going? Okay, that's bad. That is very bad. That is very bad. I need to destroy this beholder. I don't really want to kill him, bro. Because he's charmed. If I do this, will it die? I'm hoping it, I, I hope he won't die. <laughs> okay. Well. <sighs> Sadness. Okay. Um, I think I aid because it heals both. Same time, I may just have to warden a vitality at this point. Okay. I'm confused. I, I may... This, this may not be a spell we want. I am very confused right now. Like extremely confused right now. Okay, it's fine. 
It's it's fine. Damn, aid did not. Okay, it did it did heal Kremil? It didn't heal Gail though because he's dead, dead. Oh my god. Okay, the fact that Kremil died from the the hits is very bad. Why is the Beholder so far away, bro? Oh boy, well... Well... Okay, you're getting into damage again, that's fine. Shadowheart is kinda MVP right now. Yes, I do. I can't lay on hands. I can't Wraith form. I can't hit either. I'll just... Can I throw? I can't throw! Uh, so bad. I can enshroud. But it's a bonus action. If I do that, I can't heal anymore. I kinda have to heal. I kinda have to move away from Gale, too. Fucking Gale aura. Oh, I mean acid. That's so bad. Okay. Alright. Can I please just hit the beholder, bro? Just kill him. Okay, Shadowheart doing massive damage here. Two to sixteen, five to f uh, I think I just searing smite this. Oh, this is gonna break concentration, I just realized. Damn it. I'll try the concussive smash. Hopefully it works. Bro. Uh, okay, I think I ate again. Will this increase max hit points by 5 again? I don't think it will. Can I do this? It's an action point. I can. Weird. Uh, did it even heal? I'm not sure. Premiel got 30 HP though, so that's fine. Shade shield. Good. Just make sure we tank as many hits as possible. Uh, okay. Mage armor. Just, okay, he's dead. Nice. Let's go. And only one of these Rouse died. I offer to parlay, and he brings a spectator. Twit. Who? Ruins by ambush. Now, you are? Um, I'm gonna speculate here. Judging by the outfit, these people are from the Temple of Saluna. Actual Saluna worshippers. That we're supposed to be living here, I think. <laughs> um, sure, let's just introduce ourselves. Rescue? Helpless babes are rescued. I allowed you to assist. Oh my god, such ignorance. <laughs> Third son of House Bartol, first rank evoker, and initiate of Graven Hollows. Who? No, no, my dear dark gods below, no! What? Confusion, um, uh, I've never seen this part of the story. <laughs> Alright, um, what's that? A memory shard. They hold their glow for years. And it's fading. It contains knowledge that is precious to me. If it has grown this dull... And my enemies have already found the forge. Which bastard stole my glory? Zagrim? Philro? Oh. Okay. Uh, what forge? Adamantine forge. If it had been found, the name would ring throughout the Underdark. Unless. Huh. Ha! The fools must have turned back, or better yet, 
died in the search. Okay. If they had just surrendered their research to me, we might have found the forge together. But no, they hoarded their knowledge, left each of us clinging to scraps. I had the good sense to lock mine away in the shard. And now I can claim the forge alone. The fuck you will? <laughs> Alone? Uh, don't you still need the uh, research? They knew of the forge's defenses, its operation, true enough. But I know its location. So will I still have to fight this dude? Time. Now I am the only one searching. Or almost the only one. You proved your power in freeing me. But I need no more rivals. Try to take this as a compliment, yes? Yeah, okay. We still need to fight these people. Bro, that's so cringe. And here I was trying to actually save them, but I'm gonna have to end up killing them in the process. Okay, where's Gale? Where is Gale? Bro, how many people are you gonna save? Sorry, what now? Okay, he's petrified. Ah, uh, we have to kill Dorn. I will smack his cheeks. Real quick. Let me do that. So I make sure he's dead. Just in case I miss randomly. There we go. There we go. What the fuck just happened? Oh my god. Gale, fuck your wild magic. Okay, who's who? This is... Oh my god, the criminal's a dog. No, it's a cat. She's a cat. <laughs> Fucking cat playthrough. Let's go. We can... Meow. <laughs> we can claw. For two damage, but this turn we can't do anything. Okay. Wait, no, Kremiel's the dog. Wait. No, that's not true. What? Who is who? Okay, Gale's a cat, Kremiel is a cat, Shadowheart is the dog. Okay, that makes that makes more sense. That makes way, way more sense now. Where is... Okay, other dude is right here. I'm gonna have to dash. Okay, please don't die. You got 5 HP. Please don't die. I'm gonna have to... I think I... I'm trying to save Shadowheart over Gale, actually. Um... The fuck is going on? Is this guy trying to break through to Petrify? That's so weird to me. Okay, we jump. We can't do three damage, apparently. We can't do three damage, apparently. We can't do three damage at all. Please don't die, Gale. Thank God. Okay, he's feared. No, he's not. He We died. No, we didn't. Okay. Hit him. Sad. Okay, Shadowheart, can you do something? Why does dog useless, bro? Dog can do 3 to 8, but can't jump, can't do anything. Other than just dash. Okay, that's bad? Actually bad? Yeah. At least Gale's not dead. But that was actually bad. I'm gonna hit you so hard, you would, uh... Can I hit you, though? Hello? Why can I not hit you from here? This makes no sense to me. Motherfucker just casts a spell from where you are. If I do this, Gale may, Gale may die. Um... 
Can I really not cast without having to move? Okay, I can do this. So let me just do this. Hopefully that doesn't affect Gale as well. Okay. Let me just... Let me just get the fuck out of here. Real quick. Okay. Time to check. 10, 18... 14, 14. Will a push work? I don't exactly know, so I'll try. That's a 50%. It's a 50% I'm not sure I should be taking. But I'll try. Let's go! Oh, he didn't fall off! That's actually kind of cringe. I was hoping he would fall. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Do damage. I'll take the 12. Go above. Alright. Trying to make sure I don't get hit by both of them. And we fly... Uh, let's see here. We should be able to fly all the way there. And hit guy. Or not. Okay, we, we hit guy still. We killed him. Let's go. I can miss the step. And I'm... Okay, I can miss this step all the way here. Alright, that's good. That's real good, actually. Bro, I wish you would just you would have just fallen. Okay, it's fine. Now Gil can bombard the hell out of him. Or I got a better idea. I'll just do this. My guy, you're about to fly hard. Boom. No. I got speak with animals. Permanent. Sure. Already had it, but sign. Okay. It's kind of cringe that he didn't fall. 21! Decent damage. He's dead. It's fine. Alright. I don't have to worry about these people anymore. I was trying to save them, but apparently you can't. Apparently saving them puts you in a fight with them. At the same time... I forgot about that. At the same time... Uh, we killed off the Beholder. Hopefully he got something good for us. I do recall some interesting spells or, or something on this guy. Better make camp soon. Might be a while. Hey. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can do this. I don't recall if this uses spell slots. It does not. This is really good, okay? Yeah, so the item you get from killing the spectator is... One of the strongest things I've seen early game, anyway. It's a level... It's two level three spells. Which is very good. One is Ray of Fear. Other is Wounding Ray. Um, I use that for my Necromancer playthrough. Which was what I did last time. I lost... No time to dally. This. So I'm gonna Blessing of the Forge Kremiel again. And I think we lost concentration because I used the uh, Spirit Guardian. So I'm gonna have to do this again. There we go. And now since Kremiel just wasted all of her things... Uh, actually, we did not. We do have one more Lay on Hands. So we can heal 10 hit points. Good. And we have one cast of each until long rest. I feel like this is fine for now. We'll just continue like this for a bit. F 
Afraid to draw hood. Gale can absorb. Sure. Alright. There are still a couple of petrified draws, but um, I'm not gonna talk about it. I don't think... Actually, do I kill him? Oh, lightning blast. Um, I don't recall what Gale has. Is this any good? Focus electricity in your veins. Uh, lightning spell. Okay. Yeah, sure. We don't use lightning, though. Ice health. Tourmaline ring. Silver necklace. A scroll. A memory shard. I'm gonna use that on Cremio. We send this to Gil anyway. Pick it up. I'm a memory shard Cremio. See what dude had to say. But I'm just gonna assume right now this is how you find out about the Adamantine Forge the right way. This is now how I found out about it the first time, but let's do this. The crystal shines only faintly. A memory shard, the wizard had called it. Okay, let's probe for thoughts or something. The crystal's glow swells, drawing you into its depths. You are transported somewhere deep, loud, and hot as the hells themselves. Within the Underdark's bowels, beyond an ancient stronghold, hovers a giant hammer waiting to fall. Okay. An echoing clang, and you're back to yourself, left only with a firm sense of a place, a grand forge. Okay. So this is how you find out about the Adamantine Forge the right way. <laughs> uh, the last time I found the Adamantine Forge in my last playthrough, I just randomly stumbled upon it because I was exploring. I was using jumps and such, and I randomly came across it. So yeah, I kind of know where it is, but I kind of don't know how to use it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find out. I jumped accidentally, it's fine. We got a trap. This place is trapped. Ah. Okay, can I disarm that trap somehow from afar? I don't have a Starion with me. Let me try to do this. That doesn't seem to work. I am blind. True. Okay, uh, what if I hit this? Okay. Um. Okay, the stupid trap is kind of in the way. Sure, let's just try to disarm it and not die in the process. Okay, good. Oh, sh I just... That's a difficulty 30. We got a critical success. Confusion. What? Difficulty 30, we got a 20, and it works? I'm, I'm not gonna question it, it just works. There's a trap. Another vent. Cringe. Another difficulty 30. What? Confused. Okay, let's... Mm, I was gonna say let's not touch this, but I don't really have a choice at this point. We failed. Shit. That's a silver necklace. Doesn't seem to be anything special. Is this thing just gonna blow up all the damn time? Okay, let me not go there. Alright, I think... <clears throat> I think this should be about enough. In this episode. So, we dealt with a Beholder, we killed some Minotaurs, we had to kill the Drows, we found out about the Adamantine Forge, we cleared the Temple of Saluna. 
And now we have our destination, finally, in the Underdark. Yeah, I think that's about enough. We made some progress with the story. And I think the Underdark... Um... Will give us some items we may need. Oh, uh, we did find this, which is really cool. I'm gonna use this quite a bit, probably. Because Wounding Ray and Ray of Fear are actually good. Especially since they don't use spell slots. Even though they are once per long rest. Uh, some of these enemies may... May just be too strong and will require this to be used. Yes. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are... Expecting another. <laughs> Make sure you let me know if you like the content. And I will see you next time.